Boxing King Media in association with Box Raw. The royalty is out today with me, British legend Prince Nassim Hamid. Uh, Prince, great to see you. Firstly, how are you? I'm good. I just didn't hear you mention Prince Promotions right there. But uh, I heard you mention everything else. But that's cool. I feel good. My son feels good. We're here today on a major, major uh, press conference to announce the official first fight and to be a part of a major, major fight uh, event in the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. I like that. Naz, after you retired from the sport boxing, was it always in your mind that you wanted your sons to be fighters as well? No, I actually said to them from the beginning that I didn't want them to fight because I've done enough for all of us. But um, they went behind my back. And uh, what can I say? They, they train very hard. They love the sport. So I thought instead of going against them, I'm going to support them. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm very confident in their ability. Uh, I'm excited to know that my son's going to be showcasing and a live performance in front of 44,000 people in Poland um, as a core main event to Alexander Usyk and Daniel Dubar. So it's, uh, it's been written in the stars. We've seen you oozing with confidence, dancing in the ring, jumping over the rope, knocking your opponents out. Do they have the same elements? Well, I'd love to say that they do, but you're going to have to wait and see. Right now, it's going, to be, it's going to be interesting to see how they unfold, the development. Um, they've not had no amateur and no professional experience, which makes it even better for me. I like it. For, them, for people to see um, how all my sons fight, and especially the first one out of the gate, is Adam Prince Jr., Adam Nassim, I'm looking forward to it, I'm excited. As a dad, I'm very proud, but um, he's, he's very good, very good. We've seen Ricky Hatton with his son, we've seen Chris Eubank Sr. with his son, we've seen Nigel Ben with his son, we've seen Prince Nassim. No, I don't think anyone would have ever thought that you four would have sons who are going to become fighters, but how much involvement do you physically have with his preparation, his training? Not very much. I want my son to stand on his own two feet and want him to do what he needs to do. Um, this isn't a sport for babysitting. Uh, so, I'm, I'm confident and happy with uh, where he's training and who's training him. Um, he's training in Birmingham uh, with Spencer McCracken. He's, he's training very hard. He's living in the gym, he's training three times a day. So, I didn't want to get caught up with many fathers in boxing that, you know, overshadow their sons or, you know, they're too involved and, I want him to do his own thing. Um, I'm going to be coming out no ring walks with him, like I see some fathers do. Um, look, it's, there's a big shout out to all of the legendary fathers that have got fighters as sons and they've done well and made name for themselves. Well, you know what? My son's here now and my three sons are going to fight. And they're very happy and they're very confident. Cool, calm and collected, like we always used to say. It's just... It's an exciting, exciting, exciting time right now. I'm sure you've given him many, many pieces of advice over the years, but if there's one thing that stands out that he kind of takes on board very well, what would that be? Do you know what? He is a, an amazing listener. Uh, all my sons are very down to earth. They're very, very well mannered. Um, I, love, I love the fact that they've been raised very well. Um, their mum's done an amazing job. Uh, so, and I've and I've done a little bit myself. The their times come for them to show themselves in their own light. Um, they're not going to be overshadowed by their father. Um, they don't have to fill no boots. They have to fill their own boots. And uh, I, I'm just happy and delighted that this times come now. You know, the grown men in the twenties and. Uh, they're going to produce the goods. Uh, now, a lot of fans get frustrated with the state of boxing nowadays. Fighters not fighting each other. We want to see Usyk fight Fury. We want to see Fury fight AJ. Has boxing changed in your eyes now? 
listen, boxing's not been the same for a very, very long time. But um, what, what can I say? I mean, this we can't do anything about that. It, the times are, you know, YouTube fighters are getting paid more than world champions. Uh, the state of the game is is the way it is. We have to live with it. We have to be happy with 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 whatever happens in the game. We love the sport of boxing. Uh, we, we're still involved in it. Uh, there's a huge future in Saudi Arabia for boxing. Um, they want to put their stamp on the sport and I think they're going to do the sport really well. Um, so I'm looking forward to Adam fighting over here, fighting in Saudi Arabia uh, and his first one in Poland. Adversity, you, you've went through a lot throughout your whole career. Um, Anti Joshua right now, a lot of people are writing him off. Can he come back? Anthony Joshua um, has done amazing things already in the sport and he was an ambassador for the sport for many, many years. Um, I rate what he's done, uh, but you know what, everybody's got a sell by date. Uh, it'll be amazing to see him come back and get in that mix and show his heart and show what he can really do. I'd like to see him come back, everybody likes AJ. Um, so, you know, it's just right now is a time where people have got need to fight the right fighters. You know, I, I really want to see um, Alexander Rusik fight Tyson Fury. I really want to see that fight. I think it's going to be an amazing fight. Uh, it's not the fight at the minute. Right now it's still a very exciting fight in Daniel Dubois and uh, Anusik. So may the best man win. Uh, I think it's going to be very, very hard for, for Daniel Dubois. But even though you know, I, I think he's an amazing fighter, I think he's a few, he could be the future of boxing. Uh, and I've always said it for a long time. And this is time, he needs to prove it now. He needs to prove himself. He's, he's, in, he's going to be in the ring with, you know, a future Hall of Famer. And everybody knows that. He's an amazing fighter, Usyk. Um, he's, he's got some style about him. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a great fight. Um, as you know, Adam Nassim is the co-main the co-main event, so I'm looking at my son still in the show. Now, do you get any, when you come to events like this, we see you at the top table, having, enjoying yourself, smiling, laughing, do you miss it? Can we see Naz back in some sort of capacity in the sport of boxing, outside of obviously your sons? Maybe, I think, I think the people who love boxing would love to see that. Um, uh, would I would I love to see that? Maybe maybe one day. I think just the fact that my sons are going to be fighting for the future. I think that that definitely includes us back in some sort of capacity. Uh, so let's just see how it all in, unfolds. I'm I'm looking forward to a bright future with my sons. Inshallah, I'm uh, I'm very confident that my sons. Um, a, a, a breath are going to be a breath of fresh air in boxing. Prince Nassim Hamid, appreciate giving me a few moments of time. Do you want to just sign us out? Yeah, signing you guys out. King Media, yo, boxing King Media. Peace, I'm out. Yeah.